Hidden Object Guru here with hot new game Unleash, which ew, is about you, the player, having a tower defense against horrible alien monstrosities. Tower Wars, the line, the line Tower Wars mode where you combat other players in free for all battle. No. Classic tower defense where you defend against a wave of monsters. All right. Hoguru's game, tower defense scenario, journey begins to duration five, author teasing studios, unleash rule, unanimous vote. Huh. The game has begun. Unleash. Okay, that's an... All right, Razor Legs, I would like to unleash you. I see. Oh, I understand what's happening. My bad. Okay, that's... We're just going to restart this. Uh... I was supposed to be building defenses, and I can't build them before here. I gotcha. So, what I want to do is... Oh, that looks good. Damn, that looks good. Alright, uh, is there a hotkey for that, or F2, or no? There is not. F2, uh... Covers you into... Oh, it reverses which way the camera goes. That's weird. Anyway, let's uh, get to it. Alright, uh, let's start the game, shall we? I've got machine guns. They've got... Uh, spider leg creepies. Was that it? Just one guy? So can I level up these towers, or... Upgrade... Oh, double damage. Nice. And does it change how they look as well, or... Yeah, no, I'll unleash another light. Oh my god, Joe, that's terrible. Uh, this stream is part of my, uh... This video is part of my new game stream, so I will be interacting with people on the thing should usually warn people about that in advance. Oh, that looks great. No, I, I totally get why you would be uh, nervous and anxious about that. And My only advice whenever I'm anxious is to just find whatever calms you. You may not be asking for advice about anxiety, but the thing that's always helped me is just find any specific thing you can do that relaxes you and focus on that. I personally had a bunch of a frustrating amount of anxiousness very re uh, recently about some work stuff. And, uh, you know, I just started uh, focusing on eating super bland food and uh, watching episodes of Archer. Really helped. Although, that's just because I love Archer. Alright, so this time it's going to be 16 of Razor Legs and 4 of Super Razor Legs. Don't know if I'm ready for Super Razor Legs. And so how much cash do I get? So I upgrade there. Alright. Upgrade. Upgrade. How much cash do I get for a Super Razor Legs? Alright, 23, 27. So I'm getting like 2 per Razor Legs. And a bunch of cash for a Super Razor Legs, right? Damn, that Super Razor Legs isn't screwing around, is he? Uh-oh. That was close. Alright, I need a couple of more cannons. So, when I leave the mission, do I get to, like, take my cash and, uh... Upgrade my, my, uh, turrets? Or is that... 
Is it not one of those? I know I've talked about this before, but of all of the games, uh, weapons and tower defense games, I tend to like machine guns the most. I just like watching them gradually slice away at enemies. I've probably built this in a non-optimal fashion, and that's on me. Wave 10, huh? That just means one more wave after this wave. Wait, you get a... I bet you get a cash bonus for early unleashing, don't you? That's how these games normally work. Hey, Warface. What is up? If you're here for Girls and Panzer, that doesn't start for a few hours. Just FYI. No more waves? Oh. Oh, he turns off the sound when they're off screen. I didn't realize that. That's unusual for the genre. Huh. Damn right I did. Okay, that went great. This second chapter, the snow seems to come alive. Cold and evil, the white. Do inside what children named the snow rippers. Your flamethrowers are your only hope. Told your grand good luck champion you will need it. I feel like I'm a champion. Thank you for feeling that way too. All right, so I have 57 seconds to start this up. I'm going to do a, a new idea that I've been working on. All right, so. How far? Okay. Okay. All right. No, wait, that's wrong. How do I sell that? Ah, there we go. Okay, I think I got this. Now I run them all the way back around. I'm running out of cash, aren't I? So do I only have flamethrowers, or what's the situation here? I love that the walls are... Okay, I should probably build some guns. Is the idea here. Alright, flamethrower, flamethrower, flamethrower. Flamethrowers aren't cheap. Oh, and then once their ice shields are down, they can be hurt by regular bullets. But I don't have any regular bullets, so... The usefulness of that, the efficacy of that is limited, is I guess what I'm trying to say. And I got a 400 coin bonus for starting early. Or do you just always get that 400 coins whenever you start? It's not super clear. Alright, let's, uh, yeah, this is going great. Three, four, five... Let's just uh, get another wave so I have some more money to spend. I figure I can start a new wave as long as it's not affecting with the performance on the previous wave. Although, honestly, it's a little hard to tell. Uh, okay. Oh, something with your... Uh Okay, how much do I get for killing these guys? Almost nothing. What happened with your dog, Warface? That's weird. Alright, can I speed this up if I hit plus or... Is there a speed control? I generally prefer it when this type of game has a speed control. but That might just be me. Oh wait, I can upgrade these, can't I? I... 200 gold over 10 seconds. Probably should have done that before I started the new wave. That one's on me. Come on, you can do it. Oh yeah, that's obviously much more powerful. Alright, and once you're done, I will upgrade... Once you're done upgrading, I will unleash the next wave and be good to go. Alright. 
Who just unlocked machine guns? Oh, so once you get X amount through the level, you unlock new weapons as well. That's cool. I don't know how I feel about all of the uh, guns costing the exact same. Oh, who's this new guy? It's a ward worm. Huh. Are the flamethrowers not able to affect multiple guys at once, or how does that work? Oof. I did not notice they were regenerating their ice shields. That might be on me. For not having enough flamethrowers to keep those ice shields down. Let me try that. Oh god. So your dog thinks that any pain he suffers is, uh, you are responsible for. That seems like the kind of thing a, go a dog would think. Take that, Mr. Snow Ripper. Yeah, I don't like how these guys are prioritizing their uh, resources. All right, let's unleash a new wave because, you know, why not? Oh, yes, cannons. Diesel tower uh, drenches the ground targets in diesel, rendering them more vulnerable to fire. Oh, nice. And damage over burning effect. I desperately want that diesel tower. Oh, okay. He thought you could deal with the fly. That's cool. Oh, dogs. You're not bright, but we love you. I will upgrade you. Damn, though. I sadly do not have any adorable pet stories. Uh, because, you know, I had pets so long ago. Uh... The only adorable thing, and it wasn't even really adorable, the only great thing I ever remember them doing was, uh, conspiring to freak out another cat, which made me prouder of them than I have ever been of anything. Come on, I want that. I want it now. Yes, Diesel Tower, let's do this. Oh, wow, that Diesel Tower went going for yeah, you can really see the uh, diesel tower in action. Yeah, I guess I'm just used to um, flamethrowers in games attacking a bunch of things at once. And the ones in this game really don't seem to do that. Like, the flamethrower seems to just hit one guy at a time, which... Like, what are you for exactly in that case? Oh, I can't upgrade him again? Why not? Oh, I'm out of money. Oh, that's fine. I'll, I'll just get more money. Alright, what's this new wave? You know what? Maybe this uh, gun needs an upgrade too. So here's my real question. Nice work. Uh, is the game always going to be the same board? Like, uh, I mean, different monsters, same board, I get. But is there going to be, like, ones with, with pits on it that I have to attack in a specific direction? Stuff like that. Or are we pretty much just staying in this front? That dude's got a lot of extra health. That's right, is, are you wondering, did he level up his, uh... 
Boom. Probably should have done this upgrading between waves. That's on me. I like my level 3 flamethrower. Alright, so can the... F wow. High level machine guns are great. I wonder if I should check in on uh, tower defense upgrade whatever. You know that uh, that one that was a ripoff of... Um, uh, let's see. Upgrade. Uh, that one that was a ripoff of my beloved game, Defense Grid. Like, uh, it, it was in a bit of a rough shape, but I already loved it because it was a ripoff of Defense Grid, and now I'm interested to see how that's developed. Like, did they get a couple of those bugs under control? I wonder. Yeah, the, you're right that the, uh, the machine guns just have a nice rattle to them, don't they? Yeah. Oh my god, you guys are splattering us. So that's uh, eight regular, four big, and two super. I feel like I'm ready for that. Just in case, I'll do some upgrading down here. If they make it that far, I'll be ready to go. Seriously, though, if you're looking for a great uh, tower defense game and you haven't played Defense Grid, you are really, uh, you have only yourself to blame. Wait, does the big one split into smaller ones? Is that what's happening here? Or have I completely misread the situation? What? We're unlocking mortars, everybody. Oh, hell yes. Then we're upgrading the hell out of our mortars. And you might say, but Hoguru, aren't you playing this on beginner difficulty and so it's really not, you know, any kind of an accomplishment that you're kicking ass? And I would say, yes, that is 100% that is accurate. But... I don't have a defense. No, that's that's true. Uh, I'm still enjoying myself, though. How many hit points does this guy have? Oh, he's got a lot of hit points. Okay. Like, why is he taking zero visible damage? And the answer is because he is loaded for bear. Alright. Upgrade. Uh, anything left to upgrade? I guess I probably need some machine guns on this side, don't I? A ton of machine guns. Yeah, that's exactly my speed, baby. Oh, did you finish those guys off? No, you didn't. Wow. Uh, can I afford to upgrade any? I can afford to upgrade all of these. If only I could batch upgrade. I just noticed that my uh, towers have health, which suggests that I'm going to be coming up against enemies who can attack towers, which, as you can imagine, I'm not psyched about. Oh, finally we got the beetle. That took forever. Okay, so fire does times 412 damage. And ice does 0 .005 damage. Uh-oh. Oh my god, that was weirdly close. I've got to level up everything. Yes, let... Oh, I didn't call in my wave early for once. That's sad. Also, you don't get a cash bonus for calling in waves early, which seems like a... You know, a natural thing to want to have happen. I'm pressing all of the normal buttons for fast forward, and there just doesn't seem to be one. Let me just quickly check the controls. 
structure. Oh, there are structure shortcuts. Okay, monster management. Options, toggle. Game overview. Yeah, I don't think there's a, uh, s there's a speed one. Oh, okay, sera, sera. Damn, these guys aren't screwing around, are they? Just gonna quickly create another loop to this. I don't know that they're gonna get past me, but why take a risk? Do 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 do. Yeah, one thing that, I mean, it's, I know it's a strange place to really judge a game, but one thing I find very strange and slightly off-putting is the, uh, oh, what is this? Oh, that's the mortar again. I was thinking of diesel tower is what I wanted. Uh, but yes, one thing that's strange and just teensy bit off-putting is the way in the game. Alright, that made me happy. Uh, you don't know if there's still combat happening when the guys are off screen. Okay. So the idea is that you can uh, play the game in multiplayer with one player playing the monsters and one player playing the towers. Sorry, pal. You weren't monster enough to take me on. See, I was, it's, it's like you're not man enough, but he's a monster, so that's the witty thing I did just then. Yeah, it's like if only there was a one-click... Oh, there is a one-click upgrade. Is there? No, there's not. Wait. Oh, okay, if you click on a guy and press control, it immediately starts an upgrade. Okay, I didn't know that. So we should be good to go. Nice. There are keyboard shortcuts that they just didn't tell me about. Are we done? I feel like we're good. Alright, let's uh, take that final level, shall we? Alright, so upgrade, 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 upgrade. And I think we're good to go. Did I spend a lot of money this match? Sure. But I think it was all, you know, for the best. Alright, that was a bad time to upgrade that guy. Even I can see that. Yay! Flamethrowers, you guys are the best. Yeah, I just, I don't know if I can, I mean, I understand why you can't do fast, oh, oh my god, I'm sorry. There was a fast forward button right there. That's on me. I was looking for a keyboard shortcut and it was right there on the bottom of the screen. That guy really does have a lot of health. 14,000! I mean, it's nothing compared to the array of brutality I've arranged for him. But still! Way to go, buddy! Way to go. Oh, hey! Oh, a time score! So, at the end of the level, you get a score bonus based on how you, uh... Uh... Magma back. Okay, so now you want to use ice towers on the magma monsters. That's right. I understand logic. Do -do -do, do -do -do. Oh, whoops. Alright, well, obviously I did this completely wrong, so I'm just gonna quickly restart that level, shall we? I was really happy with my performance on that last one. 
So I'm going to do basically the same one this time with one difference. Uh, okay. Such a huge play field. And as usual, I clicked too many times. I'm not sure how I keep measuring this wrong. But I'm very embarrassed by my performance. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I know. Uh, Alright, so then I... Delete you two. Sell and sell. Alright, then I... Sha-cha. Alright. No. No, 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 no. Okay, I should actually start building towers rather than getting all fancy like this. Alright, this is this is bad. I have made a I have made a grievous tactical error. That one's on me. I was getting fancy when I should have been getting murderous. I'm just gonna So, are you actually hurting these guys? Oh yeah, you're hurting these guys. Yeah, I'm just gonna sell all of that. I just realized the downside of the thing I just did was, uh... Oh wow, this makes selling and upgrading so much easier. Alright, there we go. Oh yeah, this is this is much better. And then uh once you get here, well, we saw what I did last time. All right. Let's get some more uh cannons going. And uh hopefully my humiliation will be lessened. So do these guys have, like, fire shields, or do they just take no damage from anything but, uh, that? Maybe it was a little early to attack, attract a new wave. Who can say? Yes! I got a new weapon, which is a workshop. Repairs nearby structures as they're getting damaged. Oh! Oh, I see. So, turns out I was not prepared for this game's uh, central mechanic at all. Which is... Uh, the guys explode and destroy your towers as they go. That, that I wasn't ready for. Kind of proved to be a bit of a surprise. So, can I see them damaging it? Because that would be great. Is it this guy who does the damage? It's this guy who does the damage. Okay. So I'll just put you there. And put you here. Oh no! One guy survived! Oh my god, this game has overwhelmed me much faster than I assumed it would. Oh good, he died. But still, that was close, right? Alright. Let's get another wave in here. And get me some sweet uh, cash as a consequence.
Okay, you know, now I see it attacking, and so I get what's happening. I, I think one thing that's, um... I'm not exactly getting to me about the game, but the thing that I'm finding most frustrating about the experience... And it's not a big problem at all. It's that, uh... Like, the amount of money you're getting from killing dudes is, like, completely irrelevant. Like, it's such a paltry sum. The only, like, amount of cash that's worthwhile at all is the stuff that comes from you, uh... doing new waves. Probably shouldn't have built two, uh... of those right next to each other. Seems like a waste of resources. Oh, crap. And then he lost the match. Alright, I have a plan, and I don't know if this is going to work. Alright, no. Nope! Alright, so, uh, that was embarrassing. Alright, apparently concrete walls are very easy to destroy. And they screw up your match immediately if you lose one. So that's a good note. I guess it actually, in a sense, does make more sense to do one of these. Because it keeps you from... Uh... Getting locked in. Don't know what happened there. Yeah, no, I know. Uh, Alright, so shift F1, shift 1, yes. Okay, here we go. So shift 2, you, there, 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 here, one down here. So this should make everything much easier to keep track of. Hopefully. I still feel like Q and E should let me uh, just speed the time up with buttons. But I understand why that's not a thing, even though, obviously, I think it should be. Upgrade. Unleash. Upgrade. Upgrade. So the goal here is to focus on a smaller number of more powerful turrets. Then I will get the uh, repair workshops going as soon as I can. There we go. Alright, so what is the range on these repair workshops? Because you really need to start repairing. Okay, see, that sucked. But... So this repair workshop, if I upgrade you, do you up, do you repair a wider... Oh, there we go. Okay. Now I see what we're doing. See, that's just cool. Alright, so let's get uh, another frost tower up here. Alright, and I'll get another repair tower over here. I'll upgrade you as well, and I think we'll be good to go. Oh, I can't afford to upgrade you. That's a problem. Control, and I'll upgrade you, and... I think this is going to work this time. Hilarious war face. It's the middle afternoon on a Saturday. I think people have stuff to do. Okay. I think I've figured this out, kind of. I'd like to see a level 3 frost tower in action, please. Probably should have built it a little closer to the action. Come on, level 3 frost tower. Oh, nice. That's double-barreled frost tower action. That's my kind of action.
Unleash. Wow, that guy's really good at destroying my uh, locations, isn't he? Let's quickly rebuild. And uh, I think we'll be good to go. He also destroyed my workshop, which I'm not psyched. Oh, no! No! He didn't destroy my workshop. I just... Ugh, all right, that's fine. Okay, this is suddenly going terribly. So if I level 3 this guy, does that mean he both heals faster and has a larger range, or does he just have a larger range? This is information you could be giving game, and I'm not sure why you're not giving it to me. I just want a ton of these frost things, if you don't mind. Okay. Okay, this is going great. All right, now if I select all if I select all of these and press I can bulk upgrade everybody. We're living in a beautiful dream future. Unleash. Yeah, now that I found out that you can do bulk actions and speed up time, I am massively in favor of this game. What the hell is that? A freezer? Oh, yes, please. Oh, it doesn't have longer range. Oh well. I'm still proud of its work ethic. Nice. I know that later uh, space enemies, it's not space enemies, sky enemies are going to show up and I'm going to have to go to the drawing board with all of my tactics, but I'm pretty happy about it. Okay. Well, how do you have a graveyard in Minecraft, Warface? Like, what do you bury there? Can you bury things in Minecraft? I know you can plant things, but... Although, I mean, realistically speaking, there's no real difference between planting and burying, but, you know. I guess, um, the only difference between planting and burying is what you expect to have happen after you put it in the ground. Like... You bury treasure, you plant a seed. No! Okay. Well, I had a good run. <laughs> Damn, though. Oh, no, no. Pause, 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 pause. No! Ah, oh, I got too cocky, and we all saw what happened. <laughs> oh, neat! Yeah, that actually does sound like a nice addition. Wow. I gotta say, and uh, do you add a... Yeah, no, it was a disaster. I played the game quite badly. Uh, in addition to that... There we go. Alright, let's try this again, shall we? See, my mistake was to not put cannons here. I thought just having concrete there would be enough to keep guys out, and it absolutely was not. I gotta say, my history with Minecraft, I think most of my headstones would read, uh, 
if you put cause of death on headstone. I don't know if that's a thing people do. If you put cause of death on headstone, all of my headstones would read, uh, was trying to make obsidian and fell into lava. Just over and over and over again. Because that is, I would say, 50% of all of my deaths in Minecraft will be trying to get obsidian. I, I would always set myself on fire. And another 20% would be tried to get to bedrock, uh, accidentally opened up a lava flume. Damn, these guys are tough, huh? I mean, I'm tougher, but those guys are tough. Better open up another row of uh, soldiers, just in case. Hey, let's let's uh, level up these healers too. Yeah, I think I think we're good now. Oh damn! Yeah, that would be bad too. I drove a, uh... Okay, one downside that I didn't realize was a thing until just now. Your... Your healing stations can't heal themselves. So I have to make another healing station to heal the first healing station. Is that working? I honestly can't tell. Alright. Are you healing? No, the healing stations can't heal each other. So, when the healing station... Oh, no, wait. It is healing it. It is. Or maybe it was healing itself and it was taking so much damage so fast. It's kind of hard to tell what's happening in parts of this game. And you might say, that's your lack of attentiveness, Hogaru. And I would say, fair argument. It suddenly occurs to me I've completely forgot to build the uh, slow things. Like, I found out about the slow things, and then never, I never built any of them. Okay. I got plenty of cash, right? Oh my god, I have nothing but cash. Alright. Alright, so then you build a uh, workshop, workshop... Workshop, workshop. Yeah, slowing it down to 50%. Oh, right, I don't actually need to build this many workshops, but bear with me. Okay, three, four, five. That should be plenty of those. Let's build freeze cannons. I'm trying to remember the last time I played Minecraft, and I remember uh, building a house in a uh, natural now to upgrade everything it was totally worth it uh, building a house in an existing tower of uh, like sandstone and then you know just going after the sandstone field next to it to make a giant quarry and uh, I don't remember much about that game other than I made an epically long railroad that I was very happy with and that while I was playing it, I was watching, I watched all of Gem and the Holidays. Which, you know, uh, was a fine show, no complaints about that show, but it's a show where I never understood what the stakes were. Like, everyone acted like she had to keep a secret identity, and no one could ever offer a coherent reason why she had to keep a secret identity. Like what? What happens if people finds out she find out she's Jen? Like I don't, I don't know what the downside is if people find out. Oh, I spent all my money. Oh, okay, sir, sir. So, do I beat the level or do I not beat the level? It's looking right now like I'm probably not going to beat the level. I had a good run though. I made it to the final wave, that's something. Oh, you know, the show Gem. Uh, it's, a, it's a 
show to sell toys to girls, like G.I. Joe for, for girls. Had a rock band. They made a movie out of it last year or the year before. It didn't go well for anyone. Oof. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's relevant anymore. They did make a movie about it recently, but you know. Yay, we did it! <laughs> I got 752,000 points worth of kills. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right, so uh, this has been Unleash, a game that I gotta say, uh, once I figured out the controls, the uh, the tutorial wasn't fantastic, but once I figured out the controls, I ended up being pretty happy with. Like that was a that was a solid tower defense. I mean, I I guess maybe it's silly, but I like my tower defenses normally to have more bells and whistles, right? You know. Uh, more elaborate backgrounds and whatnot, but just as a solid tower defense experience, I actually really enjoyed Unleash. So yeah, I'm encouraging people to check it out and see how it develops uh, through early access. Anyway, I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's buttons for that. Questions, suggestions, and whatnot go in the comments section below the video. And if you'd like to be part of the live streams where these games get played, uh, check out the Discord channel where I announce them. And we'll see you back here for more, but until then... Au revoir.